What about like when you're filling slots? Do you fill the same amount of slots for every audition? Like if you have an AT and T commercial, do you always get a hundred people for the role? No, have, no, no, no. Because d- how does that vary? Okay, so it's going to depend on what the spot requirements are. Meaning, if it's a heavy dialogue spot, let's say you put the breakdown out. Um, just for those who don't know what this means, they know what it means. Okay, so you put the breakdown out, you get all the the submissions in, and then. Um, if we're if it's a heavy dialogue spot, maybe I can only audition fifty people. Oh, it's based on time. Yeah, because oh, okay. if it's if it's a AT and T job when it's heavy dialogue, and you and I, I can only see one person every ten minutes. Right. Well, then that's gonna be it. But if it's gonna oh. be if it's like um, three dudes hanging out at the bar or like friends, I can probably see a hundred and twenty of those people. Oh, interesting. So okay. it changes per role, and then you've got to weight your schedule accordingly because you've got to say, okay, the hero dude is way more important. So I'm going to do two thirds of the day of that, yeah, because I need to see some people. Wow! So it really, it's a, it's kind of a Rubik's cube of uh, putting, putting yeah, I never a schedule together. Did you say that because there's a Rubik's cube right there? No, where is there one? <laughs> I didn't even see it. It was blocked by my are you just be- by my things, beer. Oh no, my are water. You just Sorry. saying things you see around. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's a golf club. No. That's no. interesting. I never would have thought about the time management aspect of it. Yeah. So with those spots, say you have 50 spots to fill, do you go right to the same agents normally or do you go to the people you know would be great for it right away? How does Where do you go with that? So, again, it comes down to uh, it comes down to like what, you, what we were talking about earlier where I, if I were seeing only the same people for the same if I was only saying the same people for all these years I would still not I would not be in business so <laughs> right. because because we're constantly looking for new stuff but that being said the time frame of what we do the co- the the commercial casting process has become so collapsed because of the uh, internet and the people wants the, 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 you know we get a phone call at noon and we're putting people on tape at three and they're that's nuts. and they're booking them that night to shoot the next day I mean that shit really happens that's nuts and so um because of the because of the collapsing of the time frame and stuff, it's like, wait, what was the question? <laughs> How, who do you go to fill oh, up a spot first? Oh, so I, if let's just say there's a hundred spots, right? Yeah, I, I want to make and because of the collapsing time frame of how fast things are happening, I need to make sure that there's twenty of them in that hundred that I know can do it. Yeah. So there's twenty people that I know can do it. And maybe my director and other people have seen them. But you know what? They're from UCB. They're from IO. They're fucking funny. And I know they're going to get the job done. Right? Yeah. And then I'm going to also go to some agents who I trust, who people I don't know, but I trust the agents that they've done their work. Yep. And so, okay, great. They're, they've done their work. I'm going to trust them that these people are right also. Yeah. And then I'm going to go and just pick some people that I like their resumes on who I don't know. Sure. Um, and give them a shot. And then I'll probably pick a, a 20 people who... I just kind of like their vibe or their look or their picture or whatever, you know, for like this director really like quirky people. And so let's give them this and give it a shot. So those first 20, those generally are like from the top of your head. Like you have an encyclopedic knowledge of yeah, they could, actors that they could be from the for sure. Wow. That's fascinating. For sure. Do you have your own list or anything that you break out? Just to mem- remember people? No, because of the whole conflict area of con- uh, the way commercials are set up, it's like I, you know, I, I, I know these people are funny and I like them, or I know these people are great with uh, a lot of copy for like a pharmaceutical, or I know, you know, but then we have to check still with the agent that they're Good. in town and that they're conflict free and you know all but, that stuff. Right, but so do, with all those people, you do you have like a list or favorites or something? No, it's just in my head. That's all in your head. Yeah. <laughs> It's all in my head. It's a lot, of, lot, a lot of, of useless, a lot of wasteless space, man. <laughs> a lot of wasted space. No, but that's super cool. But I can usually, I, mean, I can usually get a reservation at a restaurant, you know, easily. Because you know all the. I'm service. like, hey, 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 hey. So yeah. Well, I like to think of pa- casting as pattern recognition. I mean, you recognize who's good at what, and then you just associate mm-hmm. them with it. So if you're if you're naturally gifted at that, it seems like it wouldn't be that hard to memorize all that. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, it helps. What drives me crazy is that because of the volume of people that we see and the volume of, not that we audition necessarily, but the volume of people that are submitted to us on a daily basis, that when you do think of that one person who you know would be perfect and you can't remember, oh. <laughs> and, you, and it drives me crazy. And like, we, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go around in 200 South to like, because at ours place, you know, ours is different than other, um, like Allie's place is just her there. Yep. Um, 
there are a couple other places that are just single cast directors, and there are a couple places that are more of like us, which has collaboration, yeah, shared we, space, we, yeah, yeah, shared space, independent companies, but shared space. And um, you know, the, during the course of any day, people bounce around and they're like, "Dude, who was the guy with the mustache in the thing?" Blah, blah, blah. And like, you know, we all try to sit there and think because it just starts to haunt you. Yeah, because you're like, I don't remember. That's hilarious because you know who they are, but you can't figure it. You can't say it. It's definitely Dan Gill. <laughs> no doubt. He's overexposed. No, just kidding, Dan. That's so that's so interesting to me. And that's super fun that you guys use each other for that encyclopedic knowledge. That's super We really cool. do. Like there's no I'll be honest, working at 200 South is incredible because there is we are all competitors. Right. But we are all like we are all more than willing to help each other out with uh you know, hey, like and not just can you remember this person who this is, but they'll people will come into my office and say you know, hey, I need like ten. Like, who's your to who's your top person? Who's like thirty years old? Who who's got this skill? Can be comedy, but is a real average man or what, like. And we spitball and like that's it, so fun. Yeah, totally. Wow. Yeah, it's like a band of brothers thing. It is. It's it's actually really <laughs> it's actually really cool. It really is. You guys are competitors on the field, but off. You guys have that shared yeah. experience of what you do. Yep, that's interesting. Yeah, 